Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video will be a beginner friendly Canva tutorial video. I'll be showing you step by step exactly how you can easily create an awesome professional looking slideshow video using Canva's free online design and editing tools. Let's jump right into it. Open up Canva in your browser and log into your account. If you don't have an account already, you can just create one really easily. It's very straightforward and it's completely free to use. It will not take you more than a few seconds. We'll be using the 100% free basic version of Canva for this tutorial, which will give us all the access to the features that we need to make a great slideshow video. There are paid pro plans too, but we definitely don't need those to just start out. However, if you create an amazing slideshow video and you think you can do more with the paid version, then consider getting a subscription for yourself. I believe it will be completely worth it. Okay, so once you're logged into your brand new Canva account, go ahead and click on the videos tab in the top menu bar. This will open up the video editor section. Next, click on the blue create blank button to open up a fresh blank video project file. Here you can also choose from a variety of custom video dimensions if you need them for a specific project. But for this example, I'll stick with the default size template which is 920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Perfect dimensions for standard high definition slideshow videos. When you first open a new Canva video project, it will automatically populate your first video clip frame and set the duration to 5 seconds. You can go ahead and adjust the length of the first intro frame down to just 3 seconds or how long ever you want it to be. Later on, we'll show you how easily to apply timing changes to all frames at once. Now it's time to start building our slideshow. We can begin by adding some images into the video frames. You can upload your own photos or graphics if you already have them. I will use the free sample stock images from Canva's element section just to demonstrate how to put the video together for the visuals of the slideshow. I will drag and drop this photo onto the first frame here and then I'll scale it up a bit to fill the full size of the screen. If you want the image to fit exactly, there are alignment guides that will appear to help position it perfectly in the frame. Next up, we have the click on the add page button that we see here in the left sidebar. This will insert a new blank frame onto our video timeline after the first one. And again, we will set the second frame's duration to 3 seconds for now. Let's drop another stock photo in here and we will just keep repeating this process of clicking add page, setting a 3 second length and then dropping in the images so that we visually build out the full sequence of slides for our video. Now you can play around and make your design a little bit more creative by adding transparency to creatively showcase certain visual elements in each slide. Let me show you how you can do this with the next frame. First, I'll expand the full photo to fill in the entire frame. Then I'll click on the fade slider here in the left toolbar to add a transparency effect, fading the background image. Next, I'll drag in a smaller foreground element, scale it up a bit and then position it to where you want the focal point to be. So now we got a transparent background that blurs the distracting details and highlights our main subject, which is pretty good. Alright, so now we've gone ahead and added several different stock photos to create a nice multi-page slideshow sequence and played around with the transparency effect a little bit. Once you have all of the visual slides framed up the way you envision for your video, go up to the timing section in the top toolbar. Click on the apply timing to all pages and we can set each frame to be the same duration. In this case, 3 seconds each for a consistent pace. And now here is a cool pro tip for you. You can click between any two frames like I'm doing here and a menu will appear allowing you to add transitions for a slick animated effect moving between slides. There are so many different transition options to choose from in this video. So for this slideshow for example, I'll select the smooth flow transition to simulate a wave rolling from slide to slide. So now you can see we have a very nice flowing and visually coherent slideshow sequence with animated transitions between the images. For frames that have multiple images grouped together like this one for example, applying the transitions will animate between those different grouped elements. And as you can see, you can get really creative with this. You can spice up your slideshow even more by adding some text. So click the add text button to bring up a menu full of font, size and color options to choose from. This is a great way to introduce titles, captions or other text elements in your video slide. So I'm going to add a random title here for starters and then, you know, adjust the size a little bit, etc. Canva makes it really easy to create great looking text for your videos. If you want to take it a little step further, you can even animate text elements. You can click animate to make the titles slide in, fade in, spin and much more. 
so many possibilities to make your slideshow really stand out. And let's not forget about the audio. The soundtrack can really make your slideshow feel more complete and alive. So navigate to the audio tab in the left sidebar and you can browse Canva's stock music selection or even upload your own music file. So I'm going to add this background music that really brings my slideshow theme together. The music clips can be dragged to a place and then you can control wherever you needed them in the timeline. This is very user friendly. And now we have this amazing looking and sounding slideshow video with complete animated transitions and text and music in the background. So let's go quickly over how you can share this with others. Click on the blue share button in the corner and in the menu select view only link. This will generate a unique URL that will let anyone view your new videos. Others can watch but not download or make any changes. What's really cool about this link is that any edits you make will automatically update when people view the link. So if you find any kind of mistakes in your video, you can tweak it up after sharing and the viewers will see the newest version upon refreshing the page. You can also hit download in the share menu to save your full animated slideshow video as an mp4 file on your computer to upload it anywhere else that you need. So this was all on the beginner video to create great looking slideshow videos inside of Canva completely free. Let me know if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos that we make.